the lost list. Nate the Great and the Lost List by Marjorie Weinman Shermott. Illustrations by Mark Smont. Published by Yearling. Copyright 1975. I, Nate the Great, am a busy detective. One morning I was not busy. I was on my vacation. I was sitting under a tree, enjoying the breeze with my dog Sludge and a pancake. He needed a vacation too. My friend Claude came into the yard. I knew that he had lost something. Claude was always losing things. I lost my way to your house, he said, and then I found it. What else did you lose? I lost the grocery list I was taking to the store. Can you help me find it? I, Nate the Great, am on my vacation, I said. When will your vacation be over? At lunch. I need the list before lunch, Claude said. Very well. I, Nate the Great, will take your case. Tell me, what was on the list? If I could remember, I wouldn't need the list, Claude said. Good thinking, I said. Does anyone know what was on the list? My father, Claude said. He wrote it. Good. Can you find your father? No, he won't be home until lunch. Can you remember some of the list? Yes. Claude said, I remember salt, milk, butter, flour, sugar, and tuna fish. Now tell me, where did you lose the list? If I knew, I could find it, Claude said. You can't be sure of that, I said. What streets did you walk on? I'm not sure, Claude said. I lost my way a few times. Then I, Nate the Great, know what to do. I will draw a map of every street between your house and the grocery store, and we will follow the map. Sludge and I got up. Our vacation was over. I got two pieces of paper and a pen. I drew a map on one piece of paper. I wrote on the other, Dear Mother, something is lost. When I find it, I will be back. Love, Nate the Great. Claude said, I will walk with you. Don't get lost, I said or I will have two cases to solve. We walked between Claude's house and the grocery store, and then between the grocery store and Claude's house. Sludge sniffed. But we could not find the list. Perhaps it blew away, I said. I dropped the map on the ground. 
What are you doing? Claude asked. I am dropping the map. Whichever direction it goes will show us the way the wind is blowing. Perhaps your list blew in the same direction. The map blew toward Rosamond's house and disappeared. I will go to Rosamond's house, I said. I will ask her if she has seen your list. I will go to my house and wait, Claude said. We are in front of your house, I said. Yes, that makes it easy to find, Claude said. Sludge and I went to Rosamond's house. Rosamond opened the door. Rosamond is a very strange girl. Today she looked more than strange. She looked strange and white. She was covered with flour. Sludge sniffed hard. I sniffed hard. Rosamond smelled terrific. Pancakes! She was making pancakes. We walked in. Rosamond's four black cats were there. Today they were white too. The cats looked at Sludge. They were not afraid of him. Nobody is afraid of Sludge. I am making cat pancakes for my cats, Rosamond said, from a new recipe. I would like to taste cat pancakes, I said. You are not a cat, Rosamond said. I would like to taste them anyway, I said. A pancake is a pancake. Rosamond and I sat down. I ate a pancake. It tasted fishy. I ate another. It tasted fishier. I am looking for Claude's grocery list, I said. I think the wind blew it toward your house. Have you seen it? I haven't seen a grocery list, Rosamond said. But... But what? But I see Annie... and her dog Fang outside my window and... and what? And Fang has a piece of paper in his mouth. It might be the grocery list. I got up. Thank you for your help and your pancakes, I said. I am having a cat pancake party this morning, Rosamond said. I have invited all the cats I know. Can you come? I am not a cat, I said. That's what I told you before, Rosamond said. Sludge and I went out to talk to Annie and Fang. I like Annie. I try to like Fang. Hello, I said. I am looking for Claude's grocery list, and I think Fang has found it. It's between his teeth. He won't let that paper go, Annie said. Can you pull it out? I asked. No, Annie said. Fang would get mad. I would not like to see Fang mad, 
I said. I, Nate the Great, say that we should keep anybody with sharp teeth happy. Very happy. I had a problem. How could I get the paper out of Fang's mouth? Suddenly, I had the answer. Sludge, I said. Bark! Sludge barked. Sludge barks funny. But that does not matter. Fang barked back. The piece of paper dropped from his mouth. I reached for it. But the wind blew it down the street. I went after it. Sludge went after me. Fang went after Sludge. Annie went after Fang. The paper went around the corner. I went around the corner. Sludge went around the corner. Fang went around the corner. Annie went around the corner. The paper blew into a fence. I grabbed the paper. The case was almost over. I looked at the paper. I saw many lines. The paper was my map. The list is still lost, I said. I need more clues. I thanked Annie and Fang for their help. Sludge and I walked to Claude's house. Claude was home. He was not lost. It was a good sign. I, Nate the Great, have not found your list, I said. Can you remember anything else that was written on it? How will that help you find it? Claude asked. Trust me, I said. I remember. I remember two more things, Claude said. Eggs and baking powder. Very good, I said. Can you find the list before lunch? Claude asked me. I hope so, I said. Come to my house at eleven. Sludge and I walked home slowly. This was a hard case. At home, I made myself some pancakes. I mixed eggs, flour, salt, baking powder, milk, butter, and sugar together and cooked them. I gave Sludge a bone. I ate and thought. I thought about the grocery list. I thought about Rosamond and her fishy cat pancakes. I thought about Annie and Fang and the map. I put ideas together. I took them apart. Then I had a big idea. I knew I must go back to Rosamond's house. I did not want to do that. I did not want to be at a party with Rosamond and all the cats she knew. But I had a job to do. I had a case to solve. Sludge and I walked quickly to Rosamond's house. I said hello to Rosamond and more cats than I could count. They were all over Rosamond's floor. Rosamond's tables, Rosamond's chairs, and Rosamond. I came to talk about your cat pancakes, I said. Would you like more? 
Rosamond asked. I would like to see your recipe, I said. Here it is, Rosamond said. There are no directions in this recipe, I said. I don't need any, Rosamond said. I just mix some of everything together. Tell me, where did you? Get this recipe. I found it today, Rosamond said. Aha, you found it, I said. Did you find it? Near your house? Yes, Rosamond said. How did you know that? I have something to tell you. I, Nate the Great, say that your cat pancake recipe is Claude's grocery list. I stood tall. I cleared my throat. I read the recipe. Salt, milk, butter, flour, tuna fish, eggs, Baking powder, sugar, salmon, liver. Oh, Rosamond said. When I found the paper, I thought it was a cat pancake recipe. Yes, I said. And when I saw Fang, holding a piece of paper. I thought it was a grocery list. I thought it was what I hoped it was. When you saw the grocery list, you thought it was what you hoped it was, a cat pancake recipe. I, Nate the Great, thought of that when I was making pancakes. I mixed eggs, flour, salt, baking powder, milk, butter, and sugar. Claude had told me they were on his list. The other thing he remembered on the list was tuna fish. Cats like tuna fish. So, cat pancakes. Oh, Rosamond said. Well, Claude can have his paper back. I will keep the recipe in my head. That is a good place for it, I said. It cannot blow away. I said goodbye to Rosamond and more cats than I could count. Sludge and I went home with the list. The case was solved, and it was almost eleven o'clock. When Claude comes at eleven, I will give him his list. It is now past eleven o'clock. It is now past eleven thirty. Claude has not shown up. I do not see him anywhere. I hope Claude has not lost himself. It is now past twelve. Here comes Claude. I am glad I do not have to look for him. I am glad the case is over. I, Nate the Great, have something important to do. I, Nate the Great, am going to finish my vacation.
I got up. Thank you for your help and your pancakes, I said. I am having a cat pancake party this afternoon, Rosamond said. I have invited all the cats I know. Can you come? I am not a cat, I said.